I'm Clinton Griffiths with today's Ag Day Minute. Grain markets were in the green Monday while the Washington trade team continues negotiations in China. U.S. trade representatives resuming in-person talks with their Chinese counterparts. Expectations are low for this round of discussions. However, there's hope Beijing will buy more U.S. farm products. It would be very good news if the timeline for the talks go beyond two days. That means they are making progress. So if it's limited to two days, well, at least they talk. Farmers have the opportunity to sign up for trade aid payments this week, and the department says farmers have until August 1st to plan an approved cover crop. I'll prevent plant acres in order for those acres to be eligible as well. Now, signups run through December, and producers can expect a 50% payment in mid to late August. The National Mall in Washington, D.C. is transforming into a mini farm. The Farm Journal Foundation, with the help of USDA's Agricultural Marketing Service, introducing a new exhibit called The Voice of the Farmer. The goal? To raise awareness, educate, and celebrate American ag. Consumers may walk in the exhibit and actually touch the different crops. Farmers will be there to answer questions on Fridays. I hope when they stop by and visit with me, then they have an idea of a farmer and who a farmer is and what a farmer does, that it's not just corporate farm when they go to the store and they think it just came from the store. For more Ag News, watch Ag Day weekdays on this station or anytime at agweb.com. Plus follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.